Let's talk about variables and a task. In Automation Studio, you can define variables that go with a task, and they can be a global or local scope. You can also define in your .tip file types or like structures of, of variables. One thing that can happen if you if you just add variables in the var file is you can end up with variables that it's not clear, especially to yourself later after you haven't looked at the code for a while, or if you hand the code off to someone else, is it a status? Is it a digital output? What is it? It becomes more difficult the more a project grows. So to make the intent of those variables really clear and to be able to work on a project with multiple developers, we have a standard for this. So here's an example of a task and its tip file. We have a tip that defines the top level of the task. We have input, output, internal. Inside internal, we have commands, pars. And, and so you can see like in, in is almost like a command or a parameter, and that's these subtypes, that this task can handle. So a command might be like run this move or turn on this heater or anything like that. Parameter could be like our max temperature. And then outputs would be statuses of like what is the module doing. Internal would be function blocks or variables that are really only needed inside the task and don't represent kind of the higher level what is the module doing. So just by looking at the structure and by following this structure in different tasks uh, to myself or to another dev, it's clear what these variables are intended for. And when I pull up a watch window, I can see these are like commands I could run. I could, if I want to test out this calibration, I could turn this to set this to true and run the calibration. It just makes it really clear what the intention of the variable is. And if we all follow that on our team, it's just one more way that we can work together really seamlessly. So maybe you have your own standard like this. Uh, if you'd like to see ours, we have it on our docs and you're welcome to check it out and we encourage you to use it. If you'd like to learn anything else more about our work, check out shipandsix.team. Thanks for watching.